Hello everyone, welcome to BA Consulting Pro. This is episode 6 of our series Low Level Security in Power BI. In today's video, we are going to discuss about dynamic RLS with organizational hierarchy in Power BI. Everything about it you will get to know in this video, so please stay tuned with me till the end of this video. Over here, we have two questions. First, what if each employee should have access to his or her own data only and the manager should have access to employees' data with organizational hierarchy? Or, what if there are other higher level managers as well in your organization? So, how you are going to handle these kind of scenarios while creating your reports and dashboards and applying role level security over there? Let's first discuss some of the text functions that we are gonna use in this video. The very first is path contains. Second one would be max x. Third would be filter. And last would be user principal name. I have already created a separate video for all these text functions. I'm gonna provide you link in the description section where you can go and check out those videos. So let's get started with our demo where you will get to know what is our data model, how we are going to apply role level security with your organizational hierarchy. So guys, this is my Power BI report demo file. Over here you can see there is a table where you can see name, email addresses, date and sales amount. Also there is an organization hierarchy slicer where you can see the managers and then under each manager there are the employees. Let me show you the data in different tables as well. I have basically two tables. One table is my users table where I have ID, name, email address and manager ID. I'm going to explain you a couple of seconds later what is path, what is path item for user, level 1, level 2 or what is path contain. Before going into that, let's discuss about the sales table as well. In the sales table, you will find your date, your user IDs and sales amount. Now let's get back to this users table. In the users table, there is ID, which is the users in the sales table. Now you also have the name and email address, etc. So let's discuss first this path function. So now very first we are going to discuss about the path. Path is a dex function, which is going to give you your organizational hierarchy path. That means who's your manager and who's the employee. First, you have to use this path dex function. Then you have to provide your user ID field over here and then your manager ID. So that's what you have to do. Then it's going to give you this path where first item is going to be your manager ID and the second item would be employee ID. And if there is further hierarchy as well, then it's going to show you as well. So this is basically the path function. Then there's a path item for users. Path item is another dex function. Over here, you would realize that first you have to just give the input as your path, which is this one. And out of this, which one you would like to display. For example, you want to display the first item, second item, and so on. Then it's going to give you this. And the last is one. One is for integer. So always keep it one. That's what my advice is while using this path item text function. And here you can change this number, whether you want to give it to second, first, third, and so on. That's how you can use this path item function. The next one, the level one. Level one would be your managers. So how to get this? So you can see that I'm using over here lookup value dex function. And inside that I'm using this path item dex function. So it's going to make it very easy to work on. Why? Because this path item is going to give you these values three and four. And if you want to get their name, so you simply need to use lookup value function where you can use what you are looking for. That means our usernames that we can get from here and how we are going to connect them with the user ID. So we have user ID and that user ID we are comparing with this path item for users and corresponding to that we can get the name. So that's the lookup value dex function. Similarly, I can get it for level two. Over here, you can see that this is level two. I'm getting these names. And over here, I would like to mention one more important thing that is a path contains. We are going to use path contains dex function while creating our role. In case of path contains, first you have to use this path contains text function where you have to give input or expression as your user path 
and then what you are looking for. For example, in my case, I'm looking for user ID 3. And over here, you can see the user ID 3 is my data. So now, what you will get in return, whether it's true or false. So everything you are going to get over here, and you can see clearly, under line 3, you have this value is true, and the rest of the values are false. So as I mentioned, there are two tables, users tables and the sales table, and they are connecting using the user ID or ID. Now let's discuss what we have to do in order to create a role over here for this report. Well, for that, I have already created one role and I'm going to show you what it is. Guys, you need to understand the logic, what logic I'm applying over here rather than how I'm writing the decks. Because in the last five videos, I have already created so many decks or I have pasted and in the decks and these videos already, I have so many decks over there. So if you would like to learn the decks, you can go over there. And also from the very first video of this series, I have already mentioned what are the five steps that you need to perform in order to implement the role level security. In order to implement the role in this report, you have to go to the modeling tab. Over here, you have to come under this manage role. Under this tab, you can see there is a window and on this window, you can create as many as roles you want. However, over here I have already created one role that is RLS role and I have mentioned this on user table. Now look at over here. This is very important. You need to understand the logic over here. In the last video already I have mentioned how to use maxx, then filter, then users and all. But over here what path contains is doing. Well, very first whenever any user is gonna come then we have to filter it out our users table. That means first we have to get to know who is logging into our system. For that, what we are doing, we will check on users table. There is a field email. That means, for example, I am Ajay Kumar and my email address is connect at biconsultingpro.com. Then automatically with the help of user principal name DAX function is going to match with that. Then my users table is going to get filtered it out based on that particular email address. Once it's going to filter it out, then I'm going to use max x dex function. This dex function is going to help me out to get the maximum ID from the user ID column, which is this one. For example, my ID is one. So it's going to give me one. And then path contains function. You can see that it's going to take first user path and then it's going to give me what is corresponding to number one. So let me now go back to my table where I have created a column using path contains dex function. And over here you can see this is path contains dex function which is going to take two inputs. One your user path that means this path and under this path which id you are looking for. For example here I am looking 3 that means over here it's going to check this okay 3 is there and it's going to say true. So whatever number that you are getting from that text function it's gonna put it over here in our case max x is the text function that is gonna give us the user id so it's gonna use it over here based on that it's gonna filter it out all the rows and in our case it's just gonna say true for number three now this number three from here there's an id number three this id is gonna filter the sales table so that's how you are gonna get only the corresponding rows so let me repeat it quickly once again. First of all, you have to go to your users table and you have to match your email address. No matter who's logging into the portal, if their email address is corresponding to the email addresses in the users table, they are going to match over there. Then you will get certain user IDs. And then out of that, I'm going to get maximum user ID because at a time only one person can log in with their user account. So only one is going to return. And that we are going to find out in the path and here we are using this expression. So corresponding to that, all the rows are going to get filtered. And once the rows are going to get filters in the users table, that user table is going to filter it out your sales table as well. You can apply this kind of logic on any other table as well. It just depends what is your requirement. So now we have to save this and we have to just publish it. So you can come to the home tab and you can start publishing it to the workspace you would like to publish. Now over here you can see this is connected bi consulting pro.com account from where I have published this file. So very first you have to go in the same account to add different email addresses or group of users into that particular role that you have just created over here. 
Over here, you can see that I have logged in into my connected VI Consulting Pro.com account. And if I'll go to my workspace, that is my demo workspace, you will see there is a report with RLS episode 6 demo file. You have to go to its dataset, which is I'm over here right now. So you have to go to the security. And here you can see that I have already added all these email addresses. Now we are going to test this role. So for that, you have to come to your role and over here, you will see these three buttons or three doors or eclipses. And then you have to click over here, test as role. So it's now checking what is the status for me. So I'm the manager and under me, Sue Sandy Tune is walking. So it's going to display over here and over here from the table, you can see only those corresponding roles. Now let's check. For any of the employee, for example, Merida at biconsultingpro.com, how it's going to appear. Now you can see this file has been shared over here. So let me click over here. And here you can clearly see that only the rows corresponding to Merida's are appearing over here. Probably you are going to ask me, okay, then why this admin is appearing over here? See guys, we have applied the row level security only for the rows over here, not for the slicer. Slicer is going to show you all the values corresponding to Merida. Since admin is the manager of Merida, that's why it's appearing over here. I'm sure this video is going to be very helpful for your other colleagues or friends as well. So please do share with them. And don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest Power updates and videos. In the next video, we are going to discuss about dynamic role level security and its configuration with organizational hierarchy in multiple positions in Power BI. Thank you so much guys for watching this video and stay tuned for the next video.